So many American police officers have been caught on camera using excessive force, you'd almost think we'd become immune to it. But now another shocking video has emerged, this time from South Carolina. It takes place inside a high school. And as Jackson Prosco reports, both the FBI and the Department of Justice are investigating. The video is disturbing and difficult to watch. A female high school student slammed to the ground, then dragged across the classroom by a school resource officer before being arrested in front of shocked students. I've never seen anything so, so nasty looking, so sick to the point where, you know, other students are, are turning away. It happened at Spring Valley High School in Columbia, South Carolina. The student had allegedly disrupted class and refused to leave. That's when the officer was called in. A second student was also arrested after standing up for her classmate. And I was just crying and he was like, well, since you got so much to say, you coming too. And I was like, what? And he would you want some of this? And mm -mm. just put my hands behind my back. The school board expressed outrage. What happened yesterday, what we all watched on that shamefully shocking video is reprehensible, unforgivable. The officer involved has been identified as Deputy Ben Fields, already the subject of several past complaints about racial bias and excessive force. He now faces an FBI civil rights probe. Just like anybody else who saw it, I'm very disturbed by it. Uh, I'm, we're going to handle it appropriately and we're going to handle it very quickly. Anger and that video spread rapidly on social media. Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton tweeted, there's no excuse for violence inside a school, calling it unacceptable. Speaking to a police conference, President Obama called for acknowledgement of the growing number of high-profile incidents involving African Americans and white police officers. You know as well as I do that the tensions in some communities, the feeling that law enforcement isn't always applied fairly, those sentiments don't just come out of nowhere. Exactly why the officer responded the way he did is now the subject of several independent investigations. But school board officials admit that what was caught on video seems to defy explanation. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.